So here we are guys, hole number four that we're going to be setting up for here. And it looks like we're getting kind of a headwind, which makes this hole just a tiny bit tougher. It does, does kind of make it just a little bit more challenging. Now what I try to do is a hook slice on this hole. Not the way that my opponent's going though. I try to go the other way. So it's very tough to get the ball, you know, down towards the green when you go that direction. So uh, much better to try to go the other way. However, you'll see that he does have a relatively straight pitch. It should be kind of straightforward possibility to hold it if you do go that way. Now, what I'm going to need to do is kind of max out a little bit because you're going to see that the ball is going to land much shorter. So here you're seeing even, you know, I'm thinking I'm just going berserker just to try to get this to land far enough to get it to the other side. It's going to be very tough to get this to the other side. The reef ball is going to be good for that wind angle because you'll see I'll be able to get that wind down with a power five ball. It's going to be a good opportunity, but I don't have those balls, so you can see that I'm just kind of improvising. Um, I'm going to play this wind. Aside from this, I'm going to go maybe eight rings or so. So I'm thinking somewhere up here, right on the mountain, just barely. And barely got that off. So let's see how this looks. Looks like I was able to get to the other side. Um, and if I would have just went one ring less, or, if, you know, I might not have quite caught the full hook slice there, you'd see that I'd be able to get it up into this fairway right up in here and give yourself a very good makeable pitch. As I mentioned, you know, Berserker or, um, you know, Reef Ball is going to give you that best chance, especially with weaker clubs. Now, you know, if we have a POC 5, a POC 6, stuff like that, I would imagine uh, we'll be able to have enough top spin and curl to be able to easily get it over left enough. Um, with the extra mile, we'll just have to land just a little bit more aggressively towards the left-hand side. And you can see I hit just a little bit too much in the center of the fairway. That would have been probably perfect for an apocalypse, the land zone. Like, that's where you'll want to land the apocalypse with the full curl. But nevertheless, here you see, we still have a reasonable chance. You know, this is going to be a relatively, you know, I'm thinking eighth of a club here. Very short is shot. You know, I wouldn't go more than, you know, definitely less than a ring here. That's what I'm thinking. See that I should be able to get the ball guy to just kind of roll through, kind of like this. As I mentioned, definitely under a ring here for my ring adjustment. So very small adjustment. Other than that, it's just going to kind of come down the perfect ball. And I cut my perfect, so good chance. Let's see if I can get it. It looks just a hair light on the adjustment. <laughs> but there you have it. You know, you see how makeable that's going to be. Uh, it almost looks like if I would have just went, you know, one more tenth of a ring, it would have been perfect. It would have just been, you know, right about 10 per ring there. And I had a 10 win, so good chance if I went maybe 1.0 rings that that was going to go in. So keep that in mind. Good luck, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.